hello and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how to do this easy fabric 3d art the easiest way to create creases is by using a kitchen towel because they are like more stiffer than regular fabric and you will need a canvas and a hot glue gun lay out your towel and start to create folds that you are gluing down and for this one, I forgot to cut off the edges of the towel, so make sure you do that before. It's easier to achieve a more flat surface that way. And this piece is also a recreation from what I have done before. I have the tutorial of that one on my Instagram. So basically, you just fold and glue all around. You could also use a stapler if you want to. And when I made this one before, I got so many questions about how I made all the waves and the creases. And as you can see, it kind of folds itself. So it isn't hard to achieve at all. And yes, now it's time for the plaster bandages. You guys know I can't pronounce that one. <laughs> but we're going to cover up the backside with it. For this part, you will need those white stripes, water, a brush, and a scissor. I always cut them in smaller parts for more control when applying them. By cutting them straight upwards will enhance and chance <laughs> the folds and the creases. Now it's the next day and we are ready for the front side. I will now cover the front with my spackle mixture. I have a tutorial on how I mix it on my Instagram and I have recorded one for my YouTube that I will upload soon. Since I want the fabric to really soak up this first layer, I mix in more water for a thinner mixture. So I just pour the spackle mix over it and use a brush to blend it out. We are now going to shape it into our design and this is kind of the hardest part because <laughs> it's so hard to stop and know where to stop but just be creative with it and do as you prefer. It's the next day and as you heard, it's ready for another layer. I made three layers in total and the first two was with the same thin formula that I used earlier. 
For the third, I used a thicker consistency, meaning I added more spackle into the mix. And I leave each layer to dry slash harden for about 12 to 24 hours before I apply the next one. And for the last and thicker layer, I usually use like slab on the mix and then feathering it out with the brush and water to create this smoother surface because I don't want to spend that much time and effort to sanding this one. And this is me telling my future voiceover me that I will continue to do this all over. I slightly polished the back and the front side just because I'm a control freak but for the front I actually timed myself so only 2.5 minutes per side slash angle because <laughs> I know I can really go overboard with this and spend like hours sanding slash polishing a piece but this one has too many creases and I have to uh, restrain myself. <laughs> And now it's prime time. I have the link to my storefront on Amazon in the description. Unfortunately, I can't find this particular brand there, but I have another primer linked that I have seen many other artists use. But if you live in Sweden, Norway or Denmark, you can get this exact one. All the links are down below. For the first time I tried using spray paint and I actually really enjoyed it. It covered everything nicely and created this even more smooth finish that I like. I did one layer and waited 12 hours before the next one. I also tried this spray matte finish. With this one I should have done two thin layers rather than just hammered it at once. But I went overboard since I make two recordings of every step, one for YouTube and one for Instagram but it created these small pools of varnish that I ended up blending out with the brush, but the end result was fine though. And here it is. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. Please like and subscribe and check out my other social media platforms. And yeah, thank you so much.